Hello, and welcome to the Mobile User Acquisition Show, a podcast to help you unlock tremendous growth for your app. My name is Shamant Rao. I'm the CEO of the boutique growth marketing firm, Rocketship HQ, and host of the podcast, Mobile User Acquisition Show. In each episode, we feature experts in the field of mobile growth and discuss strategies, tips, and pointers from the leading edge of mobile growth marketing. By the end of each episode, you will have gained actionable and tactical insights that will help you make more informed decisions in your own work around growth. The Mobile User Acquisition Show is produced by Meryl Vincent, Content Marketing Manager at Rocketship HQ. Today's episode talks about the topic of App Store Conversion Rate Optimization, CRO, which is a topic we cover in a lot of detail in our recent book, The App Store CRO Playbook, How to Skyrocket Your App Store Conversion Rate. Check out a link to the book in the description to the show notes. While many consider keyword optimization to be an important part of ASO, a more sustainable and critical aspect of ASO is conversion rate optimization. Why? While it's possible to understand the impact of keyword optimization on rankings, the impact of keyword optimization on actual installs is not always clear. If you rank number one for a keyword that no one is searching for, it's of no use whatsoever. On the other hand, with conversion rate optimization, you improve the efficiency of your overall funnel. All your paid and organic traffic improve significantly in terms of conversion rates. So this is why while keyword optimization does have its place, we place a lot of focus and emphasis on conversion rate optimization. Today, I'll talk about the four elements of a CRO strategy so you can build a testing plan and improve your performance significantly. Number one is icon. Your app's icon is the first thing users see, and this is the first impression users have of your app. Here are a few considerations for testing your app icon and generating variants to test. Number one, show visual cues that represent the functionality of the app. These could be real life objects that could be depicted within the icon. Simplicity, ensure the icon is not cluttered just because there's a very limited amount of real estate available there. Number three is colors. Make sure the icon stands out So you can experiment with different color combination to see what stands out. Element number two is screenshot. So screenshots provide a little more context and offer a visual glimpse into your app's functionality and design. Some of the considerations for generating variants to test. Number one, captioning. Again, make sure there are captions included with each screenshot. Make sure there are more verbs, less adjectives. Then pay attention to the sequence. Arrange screenshots in a logical sequence, starting with the most important to the least important features. Number three is the feature graphic. This is the larger banner image or graphic that highlights the main feature or selling points of the app. Things to keep in mind. See if it makes sense to incorporate brand colors and logo for consistency. Ensure that there is a call to action that is explicit to Make sure users actually download. Have topical updates, right? So which means if there are features, promotions, or seasonal updates, make sure this is regularly updated. Element number four that you can test is the promo video and the app preview video, which can provide a dynamic preview of the app in action. A couple of considerations to keep in mind. Keep these ideally under 30 seconds, although certainly you want to test the length and see what works best. Make sure these highlight the features and benefits of the app. Ideally, see if you can showcase real life use cases. Make sure you follow all the best practices you would follow for a video ad, which is to have a strong hook, to have this follow a proven framework. And then of course, end with a strong call to action with an end card, which would encourage users to download the app. In conclusion, all of these can significantly improve your conversion rates on an App Store page. And I would highly recommend testing every one of these. If you check out our book, which should be linked to in the description and show notes, you'll see much more details about 
building an app store CRO plan. And you can also see an example testing plan within the book that you can check out and adapt for your own use. I hope this was helpful. Thank you. For more tips, pointers, and strategies from the leading edge of mobile user acquisition, subscribe to our YouTube channel right here or check out our blog, rocketshiphq.com slash blog.